Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Rhonda and I'm also known as Sparkly One. Today I'm showing you how to make this versatile blanket. All I did was make this chain tie and I added some beads to it and then I just threaded it through to wear it around my shoulders. You, you can use it as a baby blanket, you can donate it to the hospitals for people going through chemo. Uh, I think that any anyone would love to get this. So if you want to learn how to make it, just stay tuned and I'm going to show you how. If you're interested in learning how to make the pom-poms, that is in another video. I'll attach that right here to this video. Otherwise, this is how to make the blanket and let's go ahead and get started. This is the Red Heart Super Saver Jumbo in the color Icelandic. And it's so pretty. I love these colors. And then I am using a size I crochet hook or a size nine. Susan Bates crochet hook. This is for the black. It's also the Red Heart Super Saver Jumbo. And I really like these. I got these for $5 each at Walmart. I bought two skeins of each of the black and two of the Icelandic. So just make sure you have enough. Just buy two skeins of each one and you'll be good to go. So I'm just gonna do a small piece right here, but I'm gonna show you, you're just gonna yarn over and you're gonna go into the third chain from the hook. And I like to go into the back bump because I like the way the edge is finished, but you can do it in the traditional way, whatever you feel comfortable with. And you're gonna half double crochet all the way across. Or if you want it bigger though, it's cause as you can see from the picture uh, where it hits on my arm right there, just make it longer if you feel like you need a bigger blanket and I, that would be perfectly fine. If you wanna make it for a child, then maybe subtract about 20 stitches. And you're just gonna do this. You're gonna half double crochet. The whole entire project is done in half double crochet. There's your half double crochet. I'm gonna show you how to change colors. I have an extra ball of yarn and I just hand wound this with the center pull. So if you wanna learn how to do that, I'm gonna link the video on how to wind your leftover yarn. This comes in really handy. So when you get at the end of your row right here, I'm just doing one row of black and then I'm gonna change the color. So you're just gonna do your last stitch like you're normally gonna do it, but don't pull over on the last um, piece right there, on the last stitch. Don't pull over on the last stitch. Then you're gonna take your yarn that you're gonna add and you're just going to hook it over your hook like that. Pull through and that is your last stitch. What I like to do is take the shorter piece and connect it with that piece because it gives it more stability and then you switch back to the long piece and then you just tighten it down like that. And you're going to chain two at the end of that row. Now you can either continue with this and yarn over um, your end or you can weave it in afterwards. So this is your row and you're just gonna yarn over and you're gonna go in between each half double crochet. There's like a post here and that's how you're going to do the whole entire blanket and you're just going to yarn over and pull through all three for your half double crochet. So again you're going to yarn over and you're going to go in between each space. It makes a really nice pattern so that's why I like this and it's very fast. So you're gonna yarn over and you're going in between. Now I'm gonna show you, I'm carrying the yarn over on the back so I don't have to weave it in later, but I won't be doing that on this blanket, but you can do it if you'd like. So that's how you do that. Now let me show you on the back. Do you see this, this yarn, that strand? If you do that and you yarn over as you're going along to weave it in, that's what it's gonna look like. But I'll show you the example of how to weave it in without seeing that. So I'm gonna insert that right here above um, as I'm talking about this video. So as you can see, I weaved it in with a needle and it's invisible and I really like that so much better. So I will not be yarning over all of my ends as I go along. But you can feel free to do whatever you'd like and it is faster to do it this way, but it doesn't look as good. 
So I'm just going to leave my ends loose like that. And I'm going to yarn over. And again, this is, you're going to do a half double crochet all the way across. Now you're going to do two rows of the Icelandic, and then you're going to change back to the black. So if you want to see that again, just repeat the video where I changed the yarn, and then you can see how I did that. Actually, I'm going to put the row count of the colors in the description box, but if you want a PDF with a, a graph, you can also um, email me at sparkly160 at gmail.com and I can send you that graph. At the end of your row, every row, you're going to just chain two, you're going to turn, and you're going to go in between that first space right there. And you just keep doing this back and forth, back and forth, and that is how the entire blanket will be done. This measures 45 inches wide by 56 inches long. So the side with the pom-poms is 45 inches, and then it goes all the way across, and it is 56 inches in length. So if you want to make it a little bit bigger, you could go up to 60 inches, or you can go as big as you want. Here's the blanket so far. I haven't weaved in the ends yet, so I will do that at the end when I finish everything. But when you get to the last row, all you're going to do is chain two, and you're going to go into all of the stitches across with a half double crochet. So all these open spaces, all the way around the entire blanket, you're just going to put in a half double crochet for the border. So that's a really simple border. You can do whatever you want, but um, this is very versatile. I love this. So all I've done with my ends is that I've left them hanging and I'm going to take um, a yarn needle and I'll just take the end and I will thread my needle. And then I'm going to weave the ends back into the blanket. On the wrong side, just weave them in until you can't see them anymore. If you're interested in learning how to do this pom-pom border, which is adorable, check out my new video on how to make these cute pom-poms. I love these and they are not your traditional pom-pom. I altered the pattern just ever so slightly to make them a little bit more um, round. So if you would like to make these, click on the video on my page and that would be a continuation of how to do this border. So all I did for the tie is that I took two strands of yarn and I put them together. Um, I just did a chain stitch and I chained 100 and then I left long ends on both of the strands and I'm just putting a yarn needle. Let's see, I found these beads. These are just plastic crystal-like beads that I've had for a hundred years. <laughs> and it happens to fit perfectly inside of there. And I'm just going to thread those on. I'm using two on each one in matching colors, just like that. And then all I'm gonna do is take out the needle and I'm just gonna tie a double knot at the bottom. like that and so it just goes down like that and it's just going to dangle on the end so let me go ahead and do all four of those and i'll show you what that looks like okay and then i'm just going to trim off those ends ideas are usually born just by necessity so what i was thinking is that you would use it like you would a shawl you just put the beads through one of the stitches and this is a half double crochet, so they'll fit through there perfectly. And this way it's not attached, and so if you don't want it on here, you don't have to have it on there. All you do is untie it, and it comes right off. You just unthread it from the shawl, and then it becomes 
just a blanket. Yeah, and I think this is so cute. What do you think? All I did was use the tie to wrap the blanket. I hope you'll make a ton of these and give them away. I think they're gonna make great gifts. And I think I started something new. I hope you enjoy making this. Thanks for joining me today, and I hope I see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.